projection formula in optical isomer there are some different types of projection formula of optical isomer mm, the uh, most important is flying wedge wedge test projection formula second is fischer projection proje projection formula neiman projection pro projection formula sauer projection formula this all we will learn one by one and we will also learn the interconversion of from one projection formula to another projection formula so first of all we will learn something about wedge test projection formula flying wedge we can say flying wedge projection formula or yeah, we can say wedge test projection formula this is the structural representation of wedge test projection formula generally we will say wedge test projection formula projection ya yeah, projection formula everything is same wedge test projection formula we can say here yeah, we can say simply wedge test projection so the two things are same this is the structural representation of the wedge test projection formula it actually wedge test projection formula is the representation of three dimensional structure three dimensional view in two dimensional plane it is the our jo, our plane is two dimensional view in this plane we can represent three dimensional structure in two dimensional structure we can analyze the three dimensional structure in this our two dimensional plane so the representation of three dimensional structure in two dimensional structure is called wedge test projection formula in this uh, structure i will explain one by one these two bonds these two bonds suppose carbon has a b c d four bonds are attached but this is uh, we simply write in this format format to understand to understand the theory for theoretical purpose we write this and we can analyze and we are answering question anything learning the concept for simplification of this uh, we are writing this but actually it is not look like this actually this is in this format this is a chiral middle maybe chiral not be chiral but actually this is a middle this is a center so it do two uh, two bonds two bonds will be in the plane this is in the plane only simple lining is there here is the bond here simply lining is there it is a two bond in the plane it is a plane is is the on the plane but this is down this is not in the plane this is a down backward side this is an upward side this is called wedge this is called dash this is called wedge this is called dash here it is in the dash dash format here it is in the dash dash format that's why we are saying this is a dash this is in a wedge actually this is in a this format in this way this is in the, this is in the, this format this is a simply this is called wedge this is called dash this is in the plan this two in the plan this is two in the plan this is the representation of wedge test structural formula here two in this plan the right side is shown one is a wedge in the backward side actually this two wedge and dash these are in the backward this is in the wedge and the dash is in the back side of this wedge dash is not just back side of the wedge but i am showing the dash in the in this side for the simplification only to understand that wedge is different dash is different but actually wedge in upward side towards you and in the backward side of the wedge is dash so i have shown in this here option but actually this dash is in the backward of this wedge now this can also be represent like this any of the format can be represent wedge structure formula whichever you like most we can represent the wedge structure formula but for a standard purpose as standard use we generally use this structure formula but this all are other format are also right but other other form of representation of wedges is also possible this is also right but the most standard are generally in the most of the book this structure is written so we should follow this structure this is a bond in the plan this bond come forward this is a towards viewer this is away from the viewer means it goes to the plan it's away uh, upper side of the plan means towards viewer come out out of the plan of the paper in front in out of the plan of the paper behind this way now this is the example this is the wedge structure formula now here i have shown in the left side 
this waste is, is shown in the left side but it is also possible in the right side this structure is also similar way this structure is also possible now similarly this structure is written in the same way these two bonds in the plan this is in the dash dash this is in a wedge this is in the wedge actually dash wedge in this way the three dimensional structure we can represent in the two uh, two dimensional plane here in this way we can clearly see that this wedge in the dash in the backward side away from the viewer in the downward side and this is h is coming towards viewer in the towards viewer side this is r lactic acid in this way we are a structure we are representing where is this structure formula Up, we, as we go proceed in the projection formula we will i will make much more clear all the projection formula so if you are little bit understanding this is fine you should proceed further as you going further we will i will all we will much clear about the projection formula i will make much more clear about the projection formula now we will learn about the feature projection formula something we will learn about feature projection formula first of all we will learn all the projection formula then after we will learn how to convert on of conversion of one feature feature projection formula to another uh, after completing all the type of projection formula then we will learn about the conversion of from one uh, projection formula to another projection formula